You may have the need to analyze and understand the relationship between multiple data series. The line and column visualization can be used to accomplish this. In this video, you'll see how to create a line and column visualization in a dashboard and how to tweak the visualization for usability. I will create a dashboard with these visualizations using a data module based on the Coffee Sales 2022 zip file. It can be found with the video how to create a data module with uploaded files on the IBM Accelerator catalog. When you want to analyze the relationship between multiple data series, you can use a line and column chart. In this analysis, I want to see what insights I can gain around the number of pastries being sold versus the number that have to be thrown away. From products, product is dropped in the x-axis slot, and from pastry inventories, waste is dropped in the line position, and quantity sold is dropped in the column length. At first glance, it might appear that waste for almond croissant is about half as big as sales. And this is a misperception that can happen if the person didn't notice there were scales on the left and right side of the visualization. The bars use the scale to the left and the line uses the scale to the right. If I hover over almond croissant, I can see the quantity sold. And if I hover over the point for the line, I can see the waste value. You might make it a best practice to show the values on the chart. This is done by going to Properties, Expanding Access, and in Data Value Labels, toggling the Show Column and Show Point Value Labels on. I've made a copy of the visualization. I want to demonstrate how readability can be further improved by toggling a chart property. And in this case, I'm going to toggle use single access. The visualization now shows sales and waste quantities clearly. This has removed any possibility of misunderstanding or misreading the visualization. This concludes the video on how to show multiple qualitative values. Documentation for IBM Cognos Analytics with Watson is available online. The video description below contains links for topics covered in this video. If you would like to try what was demonstrated in this video, you will find the data in the samples folder in Team Content.